you can save custom transducer setups on the 38DL Plus and 45MG with single element based on your application. And what's nice is you can then transfer those setups into gauge view. So if you wanted to connect a different instrument that didn't have those setups, you could then transfer those custom setups to that new instrument and it would have the same setups that was in the previous instrument. So on the 38, you can do this for single element transducers. And on the 45MG, if you have the single element software option, then you can do it for the single element transducers. So to do that, the first thing you'd want to do is initialize the device. So you click device and then config. So I'm using the 38DL plus and I'm connecting through USB. So I'm going to choose this and then click add and then click OK. So now if I click 38DL plus, these are all the data logging files that are on the instrument. But if I click app setups, these are going to be all my single element custom setups. So in the lower window, I already created my database. So if I click setup list, this is where I transfer the single element setups to. So let's say I want to transfer this setup. I'm going to click with the left mouse click, hold, drag, and drop on the setup list. So now the custom transducer setup is in gauge view. I can open it up if I'd like. I can modify it if I'd want to. So now I could connect a new instrument and drag the single element setup into app setups for that new instrument, and it would appear on the new unit. If I wanted to create a transducer setup in gauge view and then transfer it to the instrument, I'd click setup list and then click create new transducer setup. So I can actually choose the detection mode, give it a setup name, measure type, what probe I'm using, all the parameters that you are normally setting up on the instrument can be set up in gauge view. I will say this is less common because typically you set up the transducer setups on the instrument. So you start with your default setup for the transducer you're using. You put in a velocity that's close to what you're measuring. You get your echoes so they're detectable. You make sure the readings are close to what they should be. And then you calibrate to get those readings right on and then you save that custom setup, but you do have the ability to do it in gauge view as well.